Let's go across now to where the IBI governor is speaking. Spending. Our multi pronged proactive and calibrated policies on the monetary, regulatory and supervisory fronts have worked well to maintain and strengthen macroeconomic and financial stability. Let me now turn to the decisions and deliberations of the monetary policy committee meeting, the monetary policy committee which met on 6th, 7th and 8th of uh, February that is culminating today. After a detailed assessment of the evolving macroeconomic and financial developments and the outlook, the monetary policy committee that is MPC decided by a 5 to 1 majority to keep the policy rate unchanged at 6.5 percent. Consequently, the standing deposit facility rate remains at 6.25 percent and the marginal standing facility that is MSF rate and the bank rate at 6.75 percent. The MPC also decided by a majority of 5 out of 6 members to remain focused on withdrawal of accommodation to ensure that inflation progressively aligns with the target while supporting growth. I shall now briefly set out the rationale for uh, these uh, decisions. The momentum in domestic economic activity continues to be strong. Headline inflation after moderating to 4.9 percent in October rose to 5.7 percent in December 2023. This was primarily due to food inflation, mostly vegetables. The softening in core inflation that is CPI inflation excluding food and fuel continued across both goods and services reflecting the cumulative impact of monetary policy actions as well as the significant softening in commodity prices. The uncertainties in food prices however continue to impinge on the headline on the trajectory of headline inflation. Taking into account this growth inflation dynamics and the fact that transmission of the cumulative 250 basis points policy rate hike is still underway, the MPC decided to keep the policy repo rate unchanged at 6.5 percent. The MPC will carefully monitor any signs of generalization of food price pressures which can fritter away the gains in easing of core inflation. Monetary policy must continue to be actively disinflationary to align inflation to the target of 4 percent on a durable basis. The MPC will remain resolute in this commitment. The MPC also decided to remain focused on withdrawal of accommodation to ensure fuller transmission and anchoring of inflation expectations. Uh, I would now propose, I now propose to provide an assessment of growth and uh, inflation. Let me take off first global growth. Global growth is expected to remain steady in 2024 with heterogeneity across regions. Though global trade momentum remains weak, it is exhibiting signs of recovery and is likely to grow faster in 2024. I would like to mention that you know I am making several statements and the supporting data for all the statements that I am making, all the sentences that I am reading out, the supporting data is provided in the footnotes. So therefore, those of you who are interested can refer to the footnotes for the backup data in support of whatever statements I am making here. So let me just restart so that there is continuity. Global growth is expected to remain steady in 2024 with heterogeneity across regions. Though global trade momentum remains weak, it is exhibiting signs of recovery and is likely to grow faster in 2024. Inflation has softened considerably and is expected to moderate further in 2024. Financial markets are volatile as market participants adjust their expectations on the timing and pace of rate cuts by major central banks who in any case remain cautious against premature easing in their fight against inflation. 
amidst the current headwinds elevated level of public debt is raising serious concerns on macroeconomic stability in many countries now this is a new point which i am just introducing which i am talking about in this mpc because this aspect i think is an important aspect and it will impact the future trajectory of uh, global financial stability and global financial system so therefore this point i thought i must uh, mention here as a part of the monetary policy statement now amidst the current headwinds elevated levels of public debt is raising serious concerns on macroeconomic stability in many countries including some of the advanced economies global public debt to gdp ratio is projected to reach 100% by the end of this decade the public debt levels in advanced economies in fact are much higher than those in the emerging market economies the challenges of debt sustainability in an environment of high interest rates and low growth at the global level can become new sources of stress reducing debt burden all right rbi governor there announcing uh, the monetary uh, policy keeping the uh, opting for status quo keeping the repo rate uh, unchanged and also saying that global growth is expected to remain steady in 2024